praise the Lord. Let's give him the worship. Let's give thanks to Almighty God. For his grace and glory upon our life. For his blood.
Hallelujah. Welcome, you Holy Spirit. You are the power that blesses, 
You are the power that has generates. You are the power that supplies all our needs. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. We welcome you, Lord. A cabo, a cabo, a cabo. Let's go. 
Administration. Uh, just before I share the word of God that brings us word to us and uh, lead us in prayers, this is the Media Prayer Summit 2020, and the theme is Accelerate. And this is the second Sunday of the four Sundays, four prayer Sundays, the Media Prayer Summit. Last week was awesome. The two services, first service today was great. Pastor Benga. From his own global was a blessing to us uh we couldn't have pastor james uh this is a caring church family we had to give pastor james a paternity leave of duty from our pulpit uh but pastor james is coming to minister to us the last sunday of the month in the second service after pastor mrs uh that's my wife so my wife will be ministering the first service of the last Sunday in the month and Pastor James will minister the second service. So we want to say a big congratulations to Pastor James Rush and his dear wife, Pastor Triforza, my beloved sister, for the joy addition to your family for the gift of a prophetess, uh, a bouncing baby girl. That was, that was great. Uh, after the wait of five years, the grace the grace spoke for them praise god hallelujah i was so excited uh, getting that testimony from that household of faith praise jesus praise jesus uh and um, i believe you are inspired by those testimonies uh by those testimonies of god's people from last year media prayer song you know why you know why we projected that because we want your faith to be steered we want your faith to be steered we want you to be inspired we want you to be expectant we want you to expect something from this event from this media prayer summit you heard about somebody that the marital embargo was lifted you heard about miraculous um, 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 childbirth and many others and many other testimonies so we'll be bringing these testimonies one after the other of what god wrought in our midst during last year media prayer summit the, the the theme last year was fast forward everything was fast forwarded and this year is accelerate uh, you're about to accelerate in every area of your life and uh, i need to quickly also talk about the youth conference 2020 uh, happening this saturday 11 a.m and 2 p.m the two sessions the 11 a.m uh, is five minute interviews with some great guys that um, in this younger generation they have taken up responsibility for their life and destiny and they are doing very well in all these things that they are doing and um, i want you to join me uh this saturday 18th of july as i interview some of them about six or seven of them and we have some people in my own uh, generation my peers uh, that we also inspire them 
to live a good youthful life as they prepare for a glorious future and don't miss Dr. Oriofer Williams popularly known as Awu Jesu is the president of City of Talent worldwide he will be ministering to us powerfully next week Sunday both the, the two services both services 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. it promises to be life-changing promises to be uh, powerful you know he is also a prophet of God he's also a prophet of God the power of God is about to break through the airwaves once again next week Sunday and you will not want to miss that for anything praise the lord jesus all right uh, let's bow down our head as we pray this afternoon father we bless you for the word that you are bringing our way this afternoon i ask that all trans be given i ask that the door of faith is open in the heart of men as you have supplied the door of ministry thank you father in jesus name we we'll pray amen all right something is in my heart for us this afternoon as we pray together uh, everybody want to pray we all believe that there is no acceleration for a believer without prayer power there is no acceleration for a believer for any believer without a prayer power the extent to which you accelerate in life as a believer is dependent on the effectiveness of your prayer life is dependent on the effectiveness of your prayer life. if a child of god must accelerate in life must break through barriers in life the child of god must learn how to pray prayer is good prayer is important somebody said that you cannot outgrow your prayer life so the, the, the growth in your life is dependent on your prayer life as a believer believer is a child of god and he talks to his father because he doesn't have any other father anywhere he doesn't have a godfather he doesn't have uh, any father anywhere it, god is his father he, 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 the, 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 the life of a believer is so spiritual and everything that he needs to get because this life in itself is spiritual uh he needs to get it through the altar through the platform of prayer you know i was checking the story of david and goliath and i saw that that warfare was beyond the stone and it was beyond uh, the spear and all that that goliath carried that warfare was about the god of the philistines that goliath represented and the god of israel that david represented so the the, the battle was from the standpoint of spirituality and that we also need to get right into our life that spirituality is very very important in winning the battle of life. So prayer is good and praying is important. You know what that Jesus said? When you pray in Mark 11, 24 and 25, he did not say if you pray. He said when you pray. Matthew 6, 5, he also said that. He said when you pray. When you pray. And that is why in John 15, 7 and Mark 11, 24, Jesus encouraged us to pray for anything and everything. I love the message Bible of, John, uh, of Mark 11, 24. Message translation he said that's why i hold you to pray for absolutely everything ranging from small to large include everything as you embrace this god life and you will get god's everything so include everything pray for everything ranging from small to large that was the admonition of jesus to us you know ranging from all kind of prayer he was saying someone is that paul was speaking someone is that pray with all prayer pray with all prayer prayer of fellowship is one of the type of prayer prayer of inquiry prayer of worship prayer of faith prayer of thanksgiving prayer of intercession prayer of supplication prayer of faith prayer of you know prayer of praise you know all this all this manner of prayer all this different types of prayer situation based and you need to pray that is why he said pray pray without season you know pray in season and out of season every season of your life every season of your life uh, is dependent on your prayer life you know it was i think it was archbishop duncan william nicholas duncan williams in ghana that said sometimes ago i was listening to him and he said uh, that season of your life that you don't pray you have outsourced that season of your life to the devil because the devil is the prince of this world no wonder jesus said the prince of this world come and he found nothing in me he said if our gospel be eating it is 
reveal it to them that the God of this world has blinded their mind of understanding. So the, the God of this world, the devil, uh, he became the God of this world because Adam handed that authority over to him by his fall in the Garden of Eden. That has been restored through the death and resurrection of Jesus. Exercise and uh, make, a, get, uh, make advantage of this authority that has been restored to, to us in Christ Jesus. All right, so uh, it, it's in my heart to share with us briefly a few points uh, on wonders of prayer, wonders of prayer, things that happen when we pray, result of prayer, effect of prayer. Uh, the first one, uh, uh, contextually, for this media prayer summit is that one, praying triggers some dimensions of the activity of the Holy Spirit. Praying triggers some dimensions of the activity of the Holy Spirit. See, until the Holy Spirit manifests, anything, until the Holy Spirit manifests, uh, things are stagnant, things are static. The Holy Spirit of God is a dynamic ability of God. Uh, when, when, when the heart was without form and void, the Bible said that the Spirit of God was moving, it was doing something, it was doing something. You know, the Spirit of God ma manifests anything and when, anytime it manifests, anything and everything happens. Anytime the Spirit of God manifests, anything can happen, anything can happen. Think about anything, talk about anything. Anything can happen when the Spirit of God manifests. And you see, the, 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 the reason why you pray is because you believe God, you trust God to, 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 to bring solution to your issues. And the issues of life, uh, it, it, sometimes it's beyond natural solution. It needs some spiritual solution point. Uh, and, 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 and life is actually spiritual. Life starts from, uh, from spiritual standpoint. And the Spirit of God is what we need. It, we need the, the, the power of the Spirit of God in every area of our lives uh, to intervene, to step into those situations. Those situations are just like that because the Spirit of God have not been involved in those affairs of our life. And what makes him to come into sin, to come into sin in those issues is prayer. You know, when you hand it over to God and the Spirit of God takes over from there. And until the Spirit of God is poured, there is no transformation. There is no transformation until the Spirit of God is poured. Or the Spirit of God manifests in the sin of an issue. Uh, there is no genuine and radical transformation. If you check Isaiah chapter 32 verse 15, scripture says that until, until the Spirit is poured from on high, he said the wilderness becomes a fruitful field and the fruitful field is counted as a foreign. So what made the change from the wilderness to fruitful field is the Spirit of the Lord. Until the Spirit of God comes to the sin of that issue, nothing remains, nothing, nothing happens. Everything remains static, everything remains stagnant. The Spirit of God is the transformer. The Spirit of God is the limit breaker. The Spirit of God is the difference maker. If you want a difference, in your marriage, in your family, in your career, in your business, concerning your health, concerning your finance, you need to hand it over to the Holy Spirit through prayer, through prayer. You have not been seeing the hand of God in your life because you have not been praying. You have not been seeing, let me say that again, you have not been seeing the hand of God in your life because you have not been praying. And it is when we pray that we hand over our issues to the hand of God and we begin to see the manifest hands of God in our our lives until the spirit is poured from on high, the wilderness become a fruitful field, and the fruitful field is counted as a forest. Isaiah chapter 32, verse 15. And you know, when the apostles also prayed in the book of Acts, chapter 4, Acts of Apostles, chapter 4, the Bible said the place where they pray, when they pray, the place where they pray, where they where they assemble was shaken, and they say, and, 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 and they become bold. When they are praying, the place where they were assembled together was shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and they spoke the word of God with boldness. Now look at this. They prayed. The place shook. After the place shook, they were filled with the Holy Spirit. And after they were filled with the Holy Spirit, they spoke the word of God with boldness. Now, uh, their prayer led to boldness. And, but something happened in between, uh, and that is the Holy Spirit. It was after they had prayed that they were filled with the Holy Spirit. And when they are filled, one of the effects of being filled with the Holy Spirit is boldness. And you need to be bold, especially in this season. You need to be courageous. You need courage. You need boldness to take some audacious steps, uh, to be daring. You know, because there are a lot of things that make you to be fearful. How can I take this step? Hey, this pandemic, this post-pandemic, can I be? Can I do this business? Is this a lucrative business? 
is it a viable business now? Is it the step that I need to take? You need to be bold, but you cannot be bold until the Holy Spirit of God steps into the sin in your life. Until the Holy Spirit of God steps into the sin in your life. Until something happens to you, nothing can happen in your world and in your life. And something needs to happen to you so that you can happen to your life, so that you can happen to your world. And it is what happened when the people of God pray. The apostles prayed in Acts chapter 4 verse 31. The Bible said they were filled with the Holy Spirit and they spoke the word of God with boldness. So until the Spirit of God steps into the sin, you cannot take that audacious step. Who bomb became? Who bomb became? Who, 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 who bomb monkey? Bomb banana? No. You need to be audacious. You need to be bold in order for you to step into that thing. It was Bishop Edeko that used to say that until you have a lion heart, you cannot take your lion share. Uh, and there are lion shares there. Uh, the, the top, the top is empty. They are looking for people to go to the top. But you need to take some audacious steps, some some bold steps, uh, in order to step into your inheritance, in order to step into the blessings that God has prepared for you. Step into that industry. Step into that business. Step into that career position. Step into those things. Uh, in, these things cannot happen except you are filled with the Holy Spirit. You know what Paul was saying that do not be drunk with. He said, but be filled with the Holy Spirit. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. There are things that, you know, some people, if they want to make some move, if they want to say something, they will need to go and drink alcohol. There is something beyond alcohol that you can drink, and that is the Holy Spirit. You need to be filled with the Holy Spirit, and you cannot be filled with the Holy Spirit when you are not engaged in prayer. The people of God, they were waiting in the upper room. They were not watching. They were not just looking. They were not just there doing nothing. The Bible said they were praying. Acts chapter 1 verse 14. The Bible said in the upper room, they were, they continued in prayer, they continue in prayer. Acts chapter one and Acts chapter two, the power of God hits them. The power of God, they were filled with the Holy Spirit. So praying leads to the, the activity, the dimension of the activity of the Holy Spirit in your business. You want the hand of God. You want the Holy Spirit to step, the meaning breaker himself, the difference maker himself, to step into your career, to step into your business, to step into the situations in your marriage, to step into the situations concerning your children, to step into the situations concerning your family, concerning your health concerning your finances he is interested in every area of your life but to get him involved you need to give yourself to prayer you need to give yourself to prayer ah thank you jesus the holy spirit is the difference maker and if you must trigger some dimension of his activity in your life you need to learn how to pray acts chapter 1 verse 8 you shall receive power when the holy ghost shall come upon you you shall receive power Power is the supernatural and dynamic ability of God to cause a positive change in your life, to cause a positive change in your career, to cause a positive change in your family, in your marriage, in your business. And you need to trigger that dimension of its activity in your life by giving yourself to prayer. By giving yourself to prayer. He said in Joel 2 28, he said, and it shall come to pass afterward that I shall pour out my spirit upon all flesh. He said, Your young men shall see vision, your old men shall dream dreams uh, praise the lord jesus he said she shall prophesy he shall prophesy so you know prophecy is the holy ghost inspired utterance when you are filled with the holy spirit after you have prayed you will say some things you will say some big things and you look at yourself am i the one speaking that is why he was saying so he said when i was a child i think like a child i talk like a child and i act like a child when you pray haven't you noticed i know you will bear witness when you pray when you finish praying there is this unusual boldness there is this unusual confidence there is this unusual or that city and you say some things and you look at this that i could not say this last week when i'm not and prophecy is the holy ghost inspired utterance there are things you say after you have prayed when you are under the influence of the holy spirit it shows that when you pray there is there are dimensions of the activity of the Holy Spirit in your life. The Holy Spirit takes over. You know, when scripture says that he is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us, that power that works in us is the power of the Holy Spirit. So when you ask or when you pray, there is a there is a steering of the power in you, and you do. The, you know, the unthinkable and the unimaginable. Because of my time, I need to move it now. You know, it was after Elijah prayed that the hand of God, and the hand of God is the symbolic of the Holy Spirit. Because scripture says that uh, the, the, you will receive power when the Holy Ghost shall come upon you. When the hand of God comes upon you. When the Holy Ghost comes upon you. So, when you pray, you, you treat
trigger some dimensions of the activity of the Holy Spirit. Now, the second wonder of praying that the Spirit of God put in my heart that I need to share with you as we pray together this afternoon is that, you know, praying also engenders divine direction. It, it, it brings about divine direction. Jeremiah uh, chapter 3 verse 3 says something. He said, call upon me, call unto me, and I will answer you, and I will show you great and mighty things which you do not know of. You know, I love the way Message Bible put it. He said, uh, call to me, and I will answer you. I will tell you marvelous and wondrous things that you could never figure out on your own. Marvelous things that you could never figure out on your own. It is somebody, Pastor Sam, I mean, that used to say that uh, uh, your life is beyond is beyond what your brain can think of. You know, it's it's just about what is just beyond what you cannot just figure it out. It takes the power of the Holy Spirit in showing you things, leading you, and He's ready to instruct. He said, "I will instruct you in the way you should you will go. I will instruct you in the way you will go." But you you expose your mind to God for divine direction when you pray you expose your mind to God for divine direction and supernatural ideas when you pray haven't you wondered that immediately after you pray or during prayers there are ideas you know many people sometimes when you are confused about things in life a believer should not be confused a believer that knows how to pray should not be confused a believer that knows the place of prayer cannot be confused why because in the place of prayer confusion disappears and direction manifests in the place of prayer our confusion melts away you know when you bring it to god the prayer that is why that hymn that says what a friend we have in jesus what a friend we have in jesus all our bodies will bring it to god in prayer we talk to him in prayer father uh, this thing i don't know how to go about it to lead me or guide me and that confusion with which you step into the place of prayer melts away because the Holy Spirit will be putting in your mind in your heart ideas solution answers we receive answers in the place of prayer we receive solution in the place of prayer confusion disappears in the place of prayer and as I always tell people that the antidote for worries and confusion is prayer the antidote for worries and confusion is the place of prayer no wonder apostle james said in james chapter 5 verse 13 he said is anyone among you suffering let him pray is anyone among you suffering let him pray i love other translations about it Nearly me trying to say, are you are any of you suffering hardship? Amplified said, Are any of you suffering from affliction, ill treatment, suffering evil? Let him pray, let him pray. Prayer is the antidote for worries and confusion. You are going through difficulty in life. Why not turn to God in prayer? He's ready to receive you with open arms. He said, Come unto me. He said, Come unto me. I will give you rest. I will give you rest. Even when you are put in with the with, with life situations. He is ready to lift the bodies and give you solution. He is ready to give to give you solution, to give you answer to the questions in your heart. See, if you know the wonders in prayer, you will not allow any situation of life to weigh you down to depress you. I tell you, I'm telling you the truth, under God. This is something that I've tested over time. This is something I have used over time in in this my short uh, in this my in this my life. Anytime I'm confused, anytime I'm worried about things. If I can just step into prayer, Father, you know, I am worried. This thing is this thing is disturbing my mind. What, what is the way out? It will give you peace. There is peace imparted in us, imparted in our mind, in the place of prayer. We know the way of peace through prayer. Praying is the antidote for worries and confusion in life. Praying is the antidote for worries and confusion in life. And that is what Apostle Paul said to the church in Philippi. He said, he said, be anxious for nothing, but in everything with prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made unto God. And the verse shortly after that, he said, and the peace of God that passes all understanding shall fill your heart and mind. The peace of God that pass on your son, the peace that you cannot explain. So you have been worried, you have been anxious, you have worked yourself up just because you have not prayed. If you can pray, your worry will disappear, your confusion will melt away. The enemy won't don't want you to pray. If we wish something, is it prayer? You know, in my book, pray for the book of Ezra, I said something: the secondariness of prayer. When people, one of the fire extinguishers for prayer is 
considering prayer as the second option, as just another option, is not the main thing. Ah, as long as you continue to think like that, that prayer is the second is secondary. You will continue to be depressed until you find a path of peace through prayer. I'm telling you this under God. And that is why Jesus was speaking in John 14, verse 1. He said, Let not your heart be troubled. I love the way you remember the only you get your coin in let not your heart be troubled your heart is troubled because you have not believed in the prayer answering god you have not come to terms with this prayer answering god the day you believe that god answers prayer from that day on you will continue to enjoy peace that passes on understanding as opposed to paul to the philippian church praise the lord jesus the, the, the number three wonders of prayer is this Praying brings out of presence. We have seen in scriptures where prayer, the power of prayer, has brought people out of prison. Is it Paul and Silas that you want to talk about? In Acts chapter 16, I saw something there. Acts chapter 16, that verse 16. Do you know that they, 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 were, they were arrested on their way to the prayer place, to the place of prayer? The Bible says in Acts chapter 16, verse 16, say they went to prayer as they were going to pray. As they were going to pray they were arrested and they were going to pray that arrest happened and you know what because they know that the solution to this problem is still prayer they continue part two of that prayer in the prison in the midnight Acts chapter 16 verse 25 the bible says that the at midnight they engage in prayer and praise you know that is the that is the source of that song Paul and Silas they pray they sang and holy ghost came down you know they, they continued the prayer meeting they were going for in verse 16 in verse 25 in the midnight in the prison you are in the prison of life and you are weighed down you are crying instead of you crying wake up wake up wake up this is the time to wake up prison of finance prison of career prison of of of, of business business prison career prison financial prison monitor prison family prison you are in prison of life and you are, you are instead of you to wake up in prayer you are dear you are dear just uh, worried you are crying you are running enter skater you are running from pillar to post sit down and pray tell the person beside you sit down and pray tell that person sit down and pray about that matter prayer is the solution is my spiritual father one of the things i respect a lot about my spiritual father is his prayer you know he, he, he used to say something and the first time i heard that thing i felt like wow this man has just injected me he said i do not know any other way that is reverend yemi grisman and you he said, I do not know any other way. You better pray. I do not know any other way. You better pray. You that you know that you are not bowing your head to any idol in your private room. There is only God that you know. You better sit down in the midst of that imprisonment of life. You better sit down and pray. You better sit down and pray because prayer is still in the business of bringing people out of prison, out of life prison. Prayer still has that potency, that effectiveness, that e efficacy to bring you out of the prison of life. Paul and Silas were brought out of the prison of life through the power of prayer. Is it about uh, is it about Peter? Is it about Peter? The Bible says something about, about Herod, King Herod. When he said Herod killed James as anointed as James. And that is what I'm about to tell you. See, you may be anointed and you still be in the prison. You may be anointed and you still be in the prison. James was anointed, he was killed. He was killed with his anointing. Maybe you will have even written more than five chapters of the Bible. Maybe you will have written, that's why I love Paul. Paul is a radical guy. Maybe you will have written James 1, James 2, James 3. Maybe. If, he had, if his destiny has not been shot, if his destiny has not been cut short by, Her by King Herod. By King Herod. King Herod killed James. He just killed him. And because the Bible said that he saw that he, the killing of James pleased the Jews. Who are those people? Talent to shave your balo ya ye tolo wo fi joba to pera e loba. Tony len yon lo wo un lo ku e ku. I won't only any air, me, me, more on one look, ye, give one ye, shave your back. It pleases the Jews. Maybe some people are maltreating you in the office, and the more they maltreat you, some of their girlfriends, some of their sugar mommies, some of their business partners, some of their associates, they are, they are happy. One fear by shine. 
The devil has entered them. The, 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 the Bible says that and Satan entered Judas. The, the devil has entered them and they are using you to play card, to play chess in your office, in your business, in, 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 in your family, you know. And all these things are happening and you think they are just ordinary because it pleased Jews. He saw that it pleased Jews. The Bible said he proceeded further to seize Peter also. He actually seized Peter. He arrested Peter with the intention to kill Peter also. I prophesy this day. Every intention to kill your marriage, every satanic intention to kill your business, every satanic intention to kill your career, every intention of Satan to kill your dreams, every intention of Satan to kill you, to kill your dreams, to kill your vision, to kill your goals. I prophesy, I scatter that intention by fire. I scatter that intention by fire. Every king error sitting on your matter, saying that you will not go far, you will not go far in destiny. I twat and I frustrate that counsel. I frustrate that intention. I destroy that prophecy. I destroy that evil intention. This afternoon, I destroy that evil intention over your life. I destroy that satanic intention over your life. Such intention will not see the light of the day. In the name of Jesus. Such intention will not see the light of the day. In the name of Jesus. Ah! Peter was anointed, sir, but he was arrested into prison. James was anointed, sir, but he was killed. Ah! Any power from the pit of hell. Any satanic utterance that is bent on killing your dreams, that is bent on putting your life in prison, or maybe you are in the prison right now. The Bible says, by the blood of the covenant, it sets people up, it sets people, it makes people to come to, it brings people out of the prison. By the blood of the covenant, I stand on the authority of the death and resurrection of Jesus, the power that brought Jesus out of the grave. I stand on that authority this afternoon and I set you free. From every evil prison of life, where life and, and devil has put you in the name of Jesus. Peter was anointed, but he was in the prison. James was anointed, but he was killed. Kai, a king, a whole king, was also put in the prison by one evil king in Jeremiah chapter 52. A king. A king. He was put in the prison for 37 years. Jeremiah 52, verse 31. He was put in the prison for a good 37 years. How long have you been put in the prison of life? But I've come to declare this afternoon as a prophet of God. You are coming out of that long term prison of life in the name of Jesus. Marital delay is broken right now. HIV disappear now. Asthma disappear now. I've come with the word of the Lord. That also disappear now in the name of Jesus. I don't know. There is a woman under the sound of my voice or you are you are watching this program on behalf of a woman about the spirit of the Lord. The, uh, 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 and this woman is supposed to have put to bed. Uh, uh, all that I want is say on you money. No? But I've come to you this afternoon in the next seven hours that woman is put into bed that woman is delivered in the name of jesus that woman is delivered in the name of i set that woman free by the power of the lord from the power of the lord by the power of the lord by the power of the lord in the name of jesus a king of logo and to your girl back no wonder the Bible says that there is an evil I've seen under heaven. The, 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 the servant is riding the horse and the king was just walking up barefooted. Ah, that, that, that thing is very evil. It's very strange. And you don't carry prophecy. The person that carry, that carry glory, a king, a king by destiny, a royalty by destiny, and is suffering, is in the prison. A royalty is in the prison. A prophecy was in the prison. A national and international prophet was in the prison. A, an international a, a, a movie producer is in the prison. An international songwriter is in the prison. A synarch and somebody more than synarch is in the prison. A, a, a businessman, somebody bigger than Dangote is in the prison. But I have come with a word of the Lord this afternoon. You are coming out now in the name of Jesus. You are coming out now. I hear in my spirit. A man is watching me. You are under the burden of long-term indebtedness and it has wrecked your business. But I hear a word of the Lord concerning you. Mercy is cancelled.
canceling that indebtedness. Mercy is cutting that indebtedness. And yet in my spirit, your business is rising again. From this afternoon, from this hour, your business is rising again. By the mercy of the Lord, your business is coming back to life. New connections are here. New business connections are here. New business connections are here. And I hear telling my spirit, that business, as soon as it is rising, it will be seven times bigger than than the previous nature of the business before it went down in the name of jesus this is so clear in my spirit this is so clear in my spirit you are coming back you are bouncing back you are rising in the name of jesus you are coming out of that prison look at the, cha- the game changer in acts chapter 12 peter was therefore kept in the prison but somebody say but somebody say but there is a but this is an afternoon of a but this is an afternoon of a pot. People in Shuba, Shuba. This is an afternoon of a pot. This is an afternoon of a pot. Something changed the game. The guy was in the prison, but something changed the game. There was a prison breaker. There was a prison breaker, and this is a prison breaker. There was a pot. Constant prayer was offered to God for him by the church. Oh. Constant prayer was offered to God for him by the church. What set Peter free, what brought Peter out of the prison was prayer. The prison break for Peter was prayer. The prison break for for Peter was prayer. If you must come out of that prison of life, of that difficulty in life, of that friction, you know one of the things I discovered is that prayer removes frictions from your life. It gives you speed. It removes, it lubricates your life. It, it, it removes, it removes friction. It removes difficulty. It removes constraint. It's part of the prayers that we are going to pray this afternoon. That we are removing every authority of difficulty from our life in the place of prayer today praise the lord jesus so i will leave you with those three wonders of prayer 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 brings out of the prison prayer engenders divine direction and prayer you know prayer triggered some dimensions of the activity of the holy spirit these are the things that prayer can do and i want you to to get ready to pray this afternoon as we also continue in this prayer sunday next week sunday and the sunday after that i'm praying for my second half of the year like i said archbishop nicholas duncan williams says something and i love it he said that season of your life that you don't pray you have outsourced that season of your life to the devil and if you must come out of the prison of life you must learn how to pray for our prayer to be effective i need to quickly share with us this afternoon how we need to pray how do we pray how do we pray number one we need to pray continuously and consistently uh, some of the prayer prayer authors prayer book authors uh, used to say that it, it is called importunity in prayer importunity in prayer james chapter 5 verse 16 the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous makes power available the amplified version put it this way he said the earnest the advent and the continued prayer of a righteous man makes tremendous power available, dynamic in its working. When you pray, you don't know how, how the manifestation of that prayer will come. You know, you have an expectation. You have an expectation. But the pathway to that manifestation is what you don't know. And that is what prayer does. Prayer is dynamic in its working. You know, it's my it's my old mom that used to say that if you do good for a white man, it's possible that it's a black man that will that will pay you back. If you do good to a black man, it's possible that it's a white man that will pay. So if you pray, you know, when Daniel prayed for a solution, the solution didn't come through angel. The solution came through the dream of the night. The other time when he prayed, when he was to be delivered from the den of lions, when he prayed, the solution came through through an angel the Bible says, and the angel of the lord deliver daniel from the, from the den of the lion so it comes in different ways that's why when people say that they pray to angel angel do this that you pray to god and god chose the best way to answer the prayers you get me now you know when church prayed on behalf of peter in that asset that we just checked uh, uh, the, the Bible says that the angel of god went into the prison the other time when paul and Silas prayed it wasn't angel it was earthquake it was a shaking a shaking a shaking the power of god broke through the prisoners the power of god broke through the prisoner so the prayer should be continuous and consistent because it is dynamic in its working that is why in luke chapter 18 verse 1 jesus speaking he said men ought always 
to pray and not lose out. Amplified version says, ought always to pray and not to turn coward, faint, lose out, and give up. Message translation says, it is necessary for them to pray consistently and never killed. It is necessary. It, prayer is a necessity. It's a necessity. And we need to do it consistently and never quit, according to what message Bible put. Many of the say, men ought always to pray and never to give up. You know, Jesus knew that there are things that will make us give up in prayer. And that is why he advised here that men ought always to pray and not to give up and not to lose heart. No wonder the, the apostles, the, the, the leaders in the church in Acts chapter 6 said, we will give ourselves continually to prayer. We will give ourselves continually to prayer. Continually to prayer. Continue. Tell your neighbor, make your prayer continuous. Tell him again, make your prayer consistent. If you are a wife watching this and your husband is sitting beside you, tap that bro. That bro, make your prayer consistent. Make your prayer continuous. Praise the Lord Jesus. Even the prayer that set Peter free from the prison, Acts chapter 12 verse 5, the Bible says that Peter was kept in the prison, but constant prayer Constant. See, they prayed until they saw Peter. They prayed until they saw Peter. They prayed until they saw Peter. You have given up too soon under your prayer pointer. And that is why you have not seen what you have prayed for. Because you are not consistent and continuous. You are not consistent and continuous. Prayer should be an always thing. Prayer should be an always thing. And that is why Paul advised in 1 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17. He said, pray without ceasing. Pray without giving up. Pray without giving up. Okay, now, somebody is asking me, but pastor, what about vain repetitions? Vain repetitions is not consistency in prayer. Consistency and continuity in prayer is not vain repetition. If you, if you study that word vain repetition according to Matthew chapter 6 very well, it's saying that using many words, they say many words, many words to impress. In fact, message translation put it straight. He said, It is nonsense. He said, You are trying to impress God with many words, with many vocals. Come simple and specific. Your prayer doesn't need to be long by use, using different English, different vocabulary to impress God. God is your father, He knows, and that is why He, he used the word fear repetition. Continuity in prayer. You can pray for the same thing severally. You can pray about it today and pray about it tomorrow. That's why I will still share with us one of the things that make our prayer effective, which is thanksgiving. You pray about it today, you give thanks concerning it that you have received it. And that is the act of faith. So continuity in prayer, it is not, it is, it is actually different from vain repetition. Continuity in prayer is not the same thing as vain repetition. Vain repetition is when you have multiplied words, when you have you are just saying the same thing and in different ways. You are trying to impress God. And that is what Jesus called vain repetition. And Paul Right into the church in Colossae, Colossians chapter 4, verse 2. He said, Continue endlessly in prayer. So, the law of prayer is the law of continuity. So, you need to make your prayer continuous and consistent. You need to make your prayer continuous and consistent. So, how do we pray? Secondly, how do we pray? We need to pray in faith. It is, it is, it is very bad. For you to say that you are praying and you don't believe that God will answer your prayer or there will be manifestation of your prayer. So how then are you? Why are you then praying? It is better for you not to pray at all than for you to pray and you are doubting the results of your prayer. You are doubting whether your prayer, the, 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 your prayer. So it is against the law of prayer. It's against the law of prayer to pray without believing for answers. It's the scripture, Jesus speaking, he said, when you pray, when you ask, believe that you receive and you will have them. Believe that you receive and you have them. It is very important. And one of the acts of faith, one of the acts of faith in prayer is the third thing that I want to say about how do we pray. We need to pray with thanksgiving. And that is why Philippians 4, 6, Philippians 4, 6, um, uh, Paul wrote to the church in Philippians. He said, be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. So by prayer and supplication, he now added something. By prayer and supplication, with Thanksgiving, with Thanksgiving, with 
thanksgiving. So we need to learn how to pray with thanksgiving. I, I, I enjoyed some teachings I received many years ago from Pastor Chris Ayakilomi concerning prayer, especially when he talked about the, the, the priestly ministry of the believer. He said something, he said, when you pray, learn how to thank the Father for the manifestations of what you have asked for in prayer. So when you pray, Father, I, I receive this in the name of Jesus. I thank you because you have answered my prayer. I thank you because you have seen this. I thank you. You, you need to thank him as if you have received what you have requested for. He said, when you believe that you receive, you will have so one of the expressions of you believing that you receive is thanking God in anticipation and as if you have received what you have prayed for. I love what Pastor Sam Adiemi used to say. Uh, I, I, I had this some years ago. He said, faith is acting so as if it is so, so that it will be so. Faith is acting so as if it is so, so that it will be so. So when you express your believing in what you have asked for, you express it in thanksgiving. No wonder Romans 4 verse 20 says something about Abraham. He said, Abraham do not stand at the promise of God through unbelief. He said, but he, he, he believed God and he was giving glory to God. He believed God and he was giving glory to God. I love the way Amplified Version put it. He said, he grew strong and empowered by faith as he gave praise and glory to God. He grew, he grew strong and empowered by faith as he gave glory and praise to God. As he gave, he gave glory and praise to God. So expressions of your faith for the prayers is you thanking God for answer prayer. And what Colossians 4 verse 2 says, he said, continue endlessly in prayer. Be vigilant in need with thanksgiving. I also love the way Amplified put that verse. He said, be earnest and unwavered or unwearied rather and steadfast in your prayer life. Be both alert and intent in your praying with thanksgiving. So as you are waiting for answers, as you are praying, as you are expecting the manifestations of what you are praying for, you need to do that. You are not waiting and wasting. You are not waiting and just looking. You are waiting in thanking God. You are waiting in thanking your Father. I thank you because what I've asked for is coming. What I've asked for has, has, has already arrived in the name of Jesus. You thank Him in anticipation. Message transition says, stay alert with your eyes wide open in gratitude. Stay alert with your eyes wide open in gratitude. NIV, he said, be watchful and thankful. Be watchful and thankful. So, those are the three ways that I, I, I just feel like sharing with you this afternoon. The first, the first thing I said is that wonders of praying. I share three things. Uh, we need to, with that praying engenders divine direction. Praying brings out of prison. And and praying also uh, triggers some dimensions of the activity of the Holy Spirit. And how do we pray? We pray continuously and consistently. We also pray in faith and we pray with thanksgiving. And so this afternoon we are about to pray. But before we pray, I would like to I would like to tell you something. Isaiah chapter 59, verse 1 to 2. The Bible says, Behold, the hand of the Lord is not shortened that it cannot save. No, is yes, every that it cannot hear. He said, But your iniquities have separated you from your God, and your sins have hidden his face from you that he will not hear. If there is anything that in that prayer, it is our sin, it's our iniquity, it is our not being in perfect alignment with the will of God for our lives. No wonder we are in the dry land, no wonder we are stagnated, no wonder we are not accelerating, no wonder we are not moving forward. The sin, the iniquities in our life is the friction, is the friction for the marvelous power of God stepping into our situation. No wonder the psalm is said in Psalm 68 verse 6, he said the rebellious dwell in a dry land. Where the, the rebellious stay is the dry land, is the land of stagnation. And what are the rebellious? Proverbs 28 verse 9, the Bible said the one who turns away his ear from hearing the law, from hearing the principles of the kingdom, from hearing the word of God, from obeying the word of God, See, your disobedience to the word of God has stagnated you. You, you are doing strong. All that about it. He said, he said, he said, he said, and it's about power to power. Okay, you they are telling you that this is what the word of God is saying. You are interpreting it to suit yourself. Continue. 
continue. See, but I've come to advise you that you need to turn away. You need to turn away from that disobedience because the the the, the, the Bible says that the obedience is better than sacrifice. He said, if you be willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. The land is so good. God has prepared a table before for you before before your enemies. But your access to what He has prepared is by obeying the word of God. It is time for you to come back home. I said something last week Sunday during my session. During my session, I said, if you turn to, if you turn to God, He will pour His Spirit upon you. Repentance is the solution to the dryness in your life. Repentance is the solution to the dryness in your life. So the earlier you come back to God, the better for you. The earlier you come back to God, the better for you. You are straying away and you are straying away from your destiny. You are straying away from your glory. That king that was brought out from the prison, he has stayed in the prison for 37 years. The Bible said when he was brought out, he was eating continually at the table of the bigger king till the day of his death. So a table has been prepared for you, but you being in the prison and to come out of the prison, you need to pray and to, to have an effectiveness in prayer, you need to turn to God. You need to be obeying the word and the voice of God. First Peter 3 7 says something to Osman. He said, Osman, likewise, dwell with them with understanding, giving honor to the wife as to the weaker vessel, as being heirs together of the grace of life. Look at this one. He said that your prayers may not be in that. Few things, little, little things are hindering our prayers. And we need to watch it. We need to obey the principles of God. And you are out there. You are out there. You want to say, Jesus, I'm coming back home. I want my prayers to be answered. I want to align with you. Or maybe you have strayed away. You have strayed away through evil association, negative association. You have strayed away. You want to say yes to Jesus this afternoon. You want to say yes to Jesus this afternoon. I want to invite you back home. I want to invite you back home. That prodigal son, I want to invite you back home. That Jesus is waiting for you this afternoon. Let this afternoon be a new beginning in your life as you start the second half of the year. You want to say, Lord Jesus, I accept that I'm a sinner. I accept that I've strayed away from you. Accept me. Accept me. Who is praying that prayer? Accept me. Accept me. I want to be in perfect alignment with you, Lord Jesus. I want to be in perfect alignment with you, Lord Jesus. If you are saying that, say it very well. And I, I'm welcoming you back home this afternoon. This is a glorious afternoon. This is a super afternoon. This is a super Sunday. This is a super Sunday for you. You are saying, Jesus, I'm coming back to a prayer life. I'm coming back to an effective prayer life. I'm coming back to my prayer altar. I'm coming back to a study of your word. I'm coming back to that life in the kingdom of God. Father, I'm coming back. I'm coming back home. Say it and say it well. Thank you, Lord Jesus. What a beautiful afternoon. What a beautiful Sunday. What a beautiful afternoon of sons coming back to his father. Of daughters coming back to their father. Father, we bless you. Father, we bless you for this new birth. If you have made that decision of coming back to Jesus, you want us to follow up with you, you can feel the form attached to this video and and you will be greatly blessed and this is the time to pray I want you to pray with me this afternoon. I have about five prayer points. I have about five prayer points. I have about five prayer points. I want to pray with you this afternoon. It's a prayer Sunday. It's the media prayer meeting. It's a media prayer meeting. And what we do is to pray. I've just shared the word of God with you. Things that prayer will do. Things that prayer will do. And you have seen it for yourself. That prayer can bring you out of the prison of life. Prayer can give you divine direction. Most of the time when we pray. When we pray and after the prayer or during the prayer we have access to some supernatural solution to some supernatural idea you know it's about that you will hear a word beside behind you saying this is the way walk here in it these are the wonders that prayer bring our way as child of god as children of god and would you Come along with me this afternoon as we pray together. You will just see some of the manifestation of the hands of God, the activity and the operation of the Holy Spirit in your career, in your business, in your finance, in your marriage, in your family, in every area of life concerning your health. I see HIV disappearing. I don't know why I'm saying this. I see HIV being healed right now. I see ulcer being healed right now. I see asthma being healed right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I see for somebody. 
I see your file, whether your business file, maybe your, your, your proposal file, maybe your contract file, or your, your, your file as a staff of an organization being moved to tables that matter. In the next seven days, you see the manifestation of what I've just said that your, 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 your files being moved, your files being moved, your files being moved, your files being moved right now. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Your files being moved to tables that matter to make a critical and strategic decision concerning your case, concerning your matter, concerning the need lifting of your business, concerning the lifting of your dreams, concerning the lifting of your visions, concerning the liftings of your life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. It's happening in the next seven days. You are sharing your testimonies with me. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Your files are being moved. Your resume is being moved. Your CV is being moved. Thank you, Lord Jesus. It was a brother that I had something about him. This, this is a member of our church. Uh, I, I, I got to know from the recruitment officer of that organization that everybody has been called to do their medical and they skipped the name of this brother. Brother. Until this guy, this brother was just met on the gangway of the organization. He was a contract staff of the organization, and, and the recruiting officer just called, Who oh, you are so so person, you are shame. Okay, go now to so so place and do your medical. And this is a brother that when we lead prayers in church, the way this brother prayed, his prayers made way for him. He was remembered, he was forgotten before, but prayer made way for him to be remembered. And that day, he was the oldest among the people that was recruited, and the prayer, the power of God broke through for him. The power of God through prayer broke through for him. And today he is enjoying the grace of God through prayer. Praise the Lord Jesus. You are about to pray now. And I want to get set to pray. I want to get set to pray. Judges chapter 15 verse 5 Judges chapter 15 verse 5 talked about Samson. Samson, Samson did something. He set the corn of the Philistines ablaze. He set it on fire. He set the corn of the Philistines on fire. What is that investment of the enemy in your life? One of the prayer, the prayer, prayer focus in my heart, as I was about to minister to us this afternoon, is that every investment of Philistines, every we, 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 you know, with every investment of the Philistines in your life, every activity and oppression of the works of darkness in your life must catch fire. So pray like this afternoon. Every investment of the Philistines in my life, every activity and oppression of the works of darkness in my life, every entrance, every stagnation, every order, every order, every go slow, every slow motion caused by the works of darkness in my life, in my business, in my career, in my health, in my finance, in my concern, my children, in my marriage, as I pray now, every plantation, every investment of the Philistine in my life, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, prayer in the name of Jesus, every corner of the Philistines in my life, catch fire, I set you on fire this afternoon, I set you on fire this afternoon, I set you on fire this afternoon, somebody say fire, somebody say fire, ah, in the name of Jesus, thank you Father, in Jesus' name we have prayed. I felt in my spirit that we need to pray that prayer again. <laughs> it's going to be fireworks this afternoon. It's going to be like bush body this afternoon. Every investment of the Philistines in my life, as I pray now, catch fire. Open your mouth and pray. Every investment of the Philistines in my life, uh, every investment of the Philistines in my life, as I pray now, into the second half of this year, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire. Every corn of the Philistines in my life, uh, as I pray now, catch fire. 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 Every corn of the Philistines in my career. Every corn of the Philistines in my in my career, in my marriage, in my business, in my family, in my ministry, in my finance. As I pray now, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, 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 catch fire. Be destroyed by fire. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every investment of the enemy in my life be destroyed by fire. Scripture says, for this cause the Son of God was manifested to destroy the works of the devil. I destroy every work of the devil in my career. I destroy every work of the devil in my marriage. I destroy every work of the devil in my business. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We need to pray. Matthew 3 10, it looks like the one that we just did now. Scripture says the axe is laid to the root of the trees. 
every tree which does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire i want you to pray like this after me this is the second prayer point that that was in my heart before i i come in this afternoon it is, uh, Pray like this after me. Whatever my father has not planted in my life, be uprooted now by fire. Jump out of my life now. Now, jump out from my life now by fire. Pray in the name of Jesus. Whatever my father has not planted in my career, whatever my father has not planted in my business, whatever my father has not planted in my, in my ministry, whatever my father has not planted in my family, in my marriage, as I pray now, be uprooted uprooted by fire. Jump out of my life by fire. Be uprooted by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. I don't know why we, uh, the, the Spirit of God is leading me for us to repeat this second one too. The last chapter 1 verse 10. Scripture says, see, this day I have set you over the nations and over the kingdoms. Some of us, we are God's ambassadors in the company where we work. Some of us, we are we, 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 because we are the end of that company where we operate, where we are doing business, we are to do some things and I will show you those things. He said, I have set you this day over the nations and the kingdoms to root out, to pull down, to destroy and to throw down to build and to plant so these are the multi-dimensional activity of a believer so we are to root up or tell see you have said this several days that what you don't want you don't watch hey, 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 hey. you got married first year second year third year third year fifth year sixth year seventh year eighth year third year things are not happening some things are not happening you are in that organization you are not moving you are stagnated and you are happy Remember, that king that is, I told you about was in the prison for 37 years, was in the prison. So, the, your period in the prison is dependent on whether you are ready to pray or not. So, if you want to stay there and be enjoying the life of your head, very good, continue. But I want to challenge you this morning. God is not glorified in you being in the prison of life. It is time I've come to announce this afternoon as a prophet of God. I've come to announce this afternoon as a prophet of God that you are coming out of that prison in the name of Jesus. So say it after me, whatever my father has not planted in my life, be uprooted this afternoon by fire. Open your mouth and pray. Whatever my father has not planted in my life, be uprooted now by fire. 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 And we the plantation of the evil one in my career, in my marriage, in my business, every oppression of the works of darkness in my life. Be uprooted. I stop it now. I stop enough is enough. I terminate it. I, I, I command it to expire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Say this after me. My Father, my Father, as this second half of the year starts, every dagon, as dagon fall before the ark of the Lord, as that one fell before the ark of the Lord, every opposition and contention in my life fall now by fire. Prayer in the name of Jesus. Every opposition of the first half of the year, every contention of the first half of the year that I've experienced in my business, in my career, in my marriage, in my family, over my children, concerning my finance, concerning my health, in my ministry, as that one fell before the ark of the Lord, I command all the opposition to fall before me now by fire. As I pray this afternoon, fall by fire, 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 fall by fire. Opposition against my husband, opposition against my wife, opposition against my movement in life, opposition against my acceleration in life. As I pray now, as that God fell before the ark of the Lord, let all of them fall by fire. Let all of the opposition fall by fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Before I came this afternoon, it was impressed in my heart that there are some people under, that will be under this ministration. That will be under this ministration that uh, he put it in Yoruba. 
awon agbara ti oro odi ti o je ki ilere olorun ko wa si imuse lo ya yeyan you want to pray every power every negative utterance that makes the fulfillment of god's promise over somebody's life to fail in my life scatter by fire in the name of Jesus, to bale bangi oba bangi. If you can pray to your oba, pray to your oba. Kuwa bara ti orodi. Aye, Musha, Yeri, Olorun, Olorun, Aye, Nia. E pasangi esi bin Olorun, Aye, Mi Losoye. No ko Jesus. Every power, every negative utterance, every satanic utterance that is making the fulfillment of God's word to fail in my life, as I pray, all to be delayed, or to take a long time, and all to be defeated. Defeated. The, the Father God says it doesn't mean that it will happen now. So you need to pray. That I've said this separately that the labor room of prophecy is the labor room of prayer. The delivery room of prophecy is the delivery room of prayer. Father, as I pray now, every power, every negative of trans, every activity of the spirit and demon that 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 that, that, that elongate that delays, that defies, that stops, that frustrates the fulfillment of God's will over a man's life, operating in my life, scatter and be destroyed by fire. In the name of Jesus, as I pray this afternoon, scatter in Jesus, they will pray. We are going to repeat that prayer. There, there, there is somebody, a lady, a young lady, a young lady, you are around the age 20 and 35. You are around the age 10, 20 and 35. You are around the age 20 and 30. You are a graduate. Anytime something good wants to come your way, it scatters. Something will just happen. And you'll be saying that it's because I told people. And my staff doesn't make me to tell people, oh, sorry. There are some forces operating against your life. There are forces operating. There are, see, demons exist. Spiritual, spiritual forces exist. And I want you to pray. Pray like this. Every power and negative utter, every evil thought that, that makes the promise of God not to be fulfilled in a man's life, operating in my life, as I pray now, fail by fire, scatter by fire. Prayer in the name of Jesus. Every power that makes the word of God not to be fulfilled in my business, in my career, in my ministry, in my finance. Be more shame by Confess these words after me. It's more or less like confession, not just prayer like that. Say this after me. Every barrier be broken. Every friction disappear. Every difficulty get out of my life. Say it again. Every barrier be broken. Every friction disappears. Every difficulty get out. Say it again. Every barrier be broken. Every friction disappear. Every difficulty in my life get out of my life. In the name of Jesus, turn into prayer. Every barrier on my way to progress, every barrier on my way to fulfillment, be broken by fire. One of Jericho, fall down. Every stone be removed. Every friction disappear. Every difficulty out of my life. Jump 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 out of my life. Every negative force responsible for my slow motion, responsible for my stagnation, responsible for for my old down and old down and old up in the name that is above every other name, jump out of my life in the name of Jesus. Every difficulty in my marriage, every difficulty in my career, every difficulty in my in my business, every difficulty in my ministry, every difficulty in my life, jump out now in the name of Jesus. Jump out of my life by fire. Get out of my life by fire. Get out of my life by fire. Difficulty, get out of my life. Out of my life now. Now, now, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Ah, this one also, I, I just received it, I received it in the room, and I want us to pray it. Hold on, you. 
Nous, il n'y a pas de nous, il n'y a pas de Il y a des gens from the beginning of their life to the end of their life. They always struggle to get the things that some people achieve easily. When it comes to their own, it will become difficult. It will, there will be multi frictions. Multi frictions. I want us to pray. In the name that is above every name, Father, remove difficulty out of the journey of my life from this day. See, I talk about my young we we settle the matter one particular day, and this day, this afternoon, is your own moment that we will settle the separation between you and difficulty from the journey of your life. It becomes the the army of the Lord, the power of the Lord is coming in contact with the problem, with that difficulty in the journey of your life. You are things have been difficult for you all this while. Hey, and I've come to announce in the name that is a book every other name. Every difficulty is removed now. In the name of Jesus, you step into rest, you step into ease from this afternoon. In the name of Jesus, oh yeah, so that my father, my father, my father, my father, I take difficulty out of the journey of my life. I do a no on Jesus. Prayer in the name of Jesus, my father, I remove difficulty out of the journey of my life. Now, in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name, we pray. This is the last one. It sounds like this other one that we just read about. We want to separate our life from every every form of delay. Every form of delay. There is a stone in the Bible, you know, like wall. Like, when David, when there was a, a, a separation, a division between David and Saul, the Bible, the first work that God did in creation, Genesis chapter 1 verse 4, the Bible said that, and God divided the light from darkness, and God divided the light from darkness. I want us to pray, my father, my father, separate my life from the authority of delay, and the authority of delay in my life, as I pray now, catch fire, catch fire, expire by 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 fire, in Jesus' name we have prayed. I want you to continue in this spirit of prayer. Uh, this spirit of prayer will continue this prayer for me next week Sunday. And my friend and my brother, my good brother, Dr. Yonfe Williams, popularly known as Aujesu, the president of City of Talent, will be ministering to us live and direct next week Sunday in the two services, first service and second service, and it promises to be powerful. And I want to tell you, if you have not gotten this book, especially this season that we are praying, it is time for you to get the book. You need to get the book. You need to get the book. Praying from the book of Ezra. Uh, it's a powerful book. It's a powerful book. It's a powerful book. You need to get it. You need to get it. It's just a thousand naira. It's just a thousand naira. Um, continue to pray. Uh, I may feel led to do a giveaway of these books. I will just give it away. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm having I'm having some impressions like that in my spirit. I want to be fully convinced about it so there will be a giveaway of these books praise the Lord Jesus and this other book is 2000 era how old are you is inspiration book that will help you inspire you to achieve your goals and to to know what God has in store for you in your life to discover and fulfill purpose just in 2000 era you can go to my website www.bigodlamysignature.com and you can go to Amazon to contact us and get this book and uh, there is a phone number that is attached to this video uh, that you can call or send message to 
on how to get the book and we'll get across to you and if this is your first time of fellowshipping with us in light breeze assembly our vision in light breeze assembly is to raise a people for destiny fulfillment we want to say you are welcome and as you join us your destiny will be fulfilled in jesus name and there is also a form attached to this video that you can fill and will contact you immediately 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 and uh, we pray that the hand of god will rest upon you all through this week the name of jesus will be glorified in your life i wouldn't want you to miss next week sunday is another prophetic praying sunday service session the two services 10 a.m and 1 p.m the power of god is about to break through uh, the airways again into your homes in through your phones through your tv sets and all that and jesus will be seen manifest in your life this second half of the year this second half of the year will be the best part of 2020 for you the end of 2020 will be far better far glorious than the way you began it this 2020 will not pass without you sharing your testimonies and your testimonies is the next in the name of jesus christ god bless you see you next week sunday i love you and god bless you